Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and welcome to this another episode of our series DP600. In this episode, we are going to talk about how you can query your data warehouse. As you know, Microsoft Fabric Data Warehouse is a complete platform for data analytics and AI. It refers to the process of storing, organizing and managing large volumes of structured and semi-structured data. In our previous video, we have already seen how to create a data warehouse and how to load the data inside it. Now, you should also know that Data Warehouse in Microsoft Fabric is powered up with Synapse Analytics by offering a rich set of features that make it easier to manage and analyze the data. This includes advanced query processing capabilities and also this supports the full transactional T-SQL capabilities like an enterprise data warehouse. Lastly, you should remember that whenever we are creating a data warehouse, it's basically designed using two schemas, either Star Schema or Snowflake Schema. If you don't know what is this, then please do let us know by commenting in the comment section. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started to query our data warehouse. In order to create a data warehouse, you have to first come over here and then you have to click on this data warehouse. Now you can see that already I have a quick link of data warehouse. So let's click over here and here I'm going to give it a name demo DWH and I'm going to click create. But please make sure that you have fabric license or you have activated fabric trial. Over here you can also notice that my workspace is demo which is on fabric capacity right now. So I'm going to click on this button create and after some time you would see that it's creating a data warehouse for me. Now we are going to load the sample data over here which is going to automatically create a data warehouse for us. So let's click over here. Now you can see over here there is a message this warehouse automatically adds new objects to the, its default Power BI semantic model. If you don't want to sync you can also turn it off but we are not going to use it and now you can see that i have my all the tables over here date table is your dimension table geography is also dimension table then you have trip time etc the other tables are over here there are certain views as well which you can find it over here then function so if you are coming from a background of data engineering or bi or data analysis you already know what are the different items that you can find in a data warehouse what we are going to do, we are going to start by querying our, this data warehouse. So you can query data warehouse directly using SQL. If you are a data citizen, you already know how to use the data query. However, however, you can also use this visual query editor. So we are going to start writing our queries from here and all the queries are going to store over here. You can also save them. You can also create views as well. So here you would find the templates for schema, table, views, etc. Please do remember that for your exam, you have to get to know where are all the different items you can find. Items in the sense like where the different options from where you can create it, what kind of query you can create, how many methods are there, etc. So you can find everything over here. You can also use this drop down to expand this one and we are going to write a new query. So I'm going to click over here and here I'm going to simply type query over here. You can also use the copilot. However, in order to enable the copilot, you have to first enable Azure tenant and only after that you can use it. We are not going to use the uh, copilot here. I'm simply going to write this query and here you can run it. And you can see that some of the results are appearing over here. Now, what is this query doing? It's pretty simple. You can see that I'm counting total trips and also I'm getting the total amount over here. Now, if you want to export this data, you can directly open in Excel. You can save it as a table as well, and you can explore the data as well, which is the option over here. So you can simply come here and you can visualize the data. So basically you can create your own chart or your report as well, if you would like to. That's how it is so powerful. You can use a lot of different options over here. Now you can see on the top, you can save it as a view as well, if you would like to save it as a view. Now you want to rename it. So double click over here and let me just try to rename it. So here I can rename it and I'll say my query and I can rename it. So now it's my query. And if you will come under the queries, your my query is going to be over here. You can again run it. You can save it. And here you can see that I have a copilot, which is going to use the AI. And if I would like to use the copilot, I can do that. I'm using my Microsoft MVP tenant over here just to do this demo where I have a lot of new features as well available. So I'm not going to demonstrate each of those, but what we are going to do, we are going to stick to this demo. If you want to download SQL database projects, you can download from here as well. So this was the first thing that we are going to do it using this query. 
Now let's suppose you want to also run another query over here. Then how you can do that? We are also going to do it over here. Simply you have to come here again and you have to just write a new query from there. So click over here, new query, paste it, run it. You can save it again. You are going to get all those options. You can also ask for the explanation, but this feature is not highlighted. You can fix it as well. So please explore these options. These are going to be very, very beneficial for you. And also in the exams, you can easily answer the questions based on your data warehouse. Now what we are going to do, we are again going to modify this query and we are going to run a new query over here. So let me do in this case, click on this new query and this is my modified query which is taking top 10 cities and then we are getting the total trips as well. So you can simply click on run. This is not the SQL tutorial guys. So I'm not focusing on the SQL. I'm just showing you all the functionalities that are available over here. Now, if you would like to save it as a view, simply click on it and it's saying unable to save it as a view. To save it as a view, select the text of one select statement in your query and try again. So you have to select this whole. I hope there are no two queries. So yes, there are two queries guys. That's why it's not doing. So we can just do with the help of this. And here you can select your schema. You can give it a name, demo, and then simply click OK. So it's going to save it as a view. And if you are going to refresh it over here, you would see the demo view over here. So let's just wait. Let me refresh it over here. It should come quickly. I'm not sure why it's taking time. It's still not coming. So let me refresh the whole. Let's try from there. Ideally, it should get saved. Sometimes it can be due to some bug or something, but somehow it's not coming over here as a view. And I'm not sure why it's not coming as a view. It should be because my schema was DBO. But let's check other schemas if it goes somewhere else. No, it's not there. Let me try over here to find demo and only one demo database is appearing. So let it be guys, we are not going to go there, but you, this is the functionality that you can use. And also if you're going to select it, you can also click over here to explain what is this query is doing. So you can see that it's explaining it. This query retrieves the top 10 cities with the highest number. And if you would like to fix it, you can fix it as well. All these are the AI based features that you can use inside your data warehouse. So this was the demo where you can use the SQL query and you can get the information from the data warehouse. However, if you would like to use the visual tool as well, you can use it for sure. Here you have to drag and drop the objects and that's how you can select it over here. What does that mean? Let's suppose I'm into my DBO. I have this table date. So I'm going to bring it over here in the canvas. Now your date table is over there. You have another table, let's say trip, and you would like to make a join on this table. So let's bring it over there. Now you have this one. Uh, let me remove one from here because I don't need it. And in this case, you really don't need to know SQL query. You can simply do it using this. Here you can see that you have options to append query or merge query. Merge query is basically your joining operations. So you can simply say either merge or merge queries as new. And if you have already been using Power Query, then you already know these options. So here I'm going to use this trip. And here I'm going to use this left outer join or let's say inner join and then click OK. We have to select the column as well. So I'm going to select data ID on both of these. And then you are going to get your data over there. Again, you can visualize this. You can download Excel file. You can save it as a table, etc. So there are lots of options that you can use over here. What do you think guys about it? Is it going to help you or you are going to use it, etc. Then please do let me know your comment in the comment section. Not only that, guys, if you have any question, concern, please feel free to ask. And we are always open to hear your feedback. So please do provide your feedback as well. If you want us to do something more or it's going already good, etc. Now, it would take some time to retrieve the data, but it's definitely going to come over here. And if you would like to further add anything as like you would like to add some commands, something you can do that or you want to apply any other operation, you can do that just using this visual query editor. 
Now I'm going to go back to my workspace where I have this data warehouse already, which is my demo DW. Let's suppose you want to connect to this SSMS or any third party tool, then how you can do that. But before going to the part that how you can connect to a third party, there is a model view as well. Here you can manage the relationships between the different tables. If you think that you should remove one relationship or you should check it, then you can do it, do it over here. There are certain other tables as well. You would find it over here. Those are not the part of actually your data warehouse, but these are the tables have been created on the fly because we have to do a lot of research, like what kind of operations being performed, what is the history, how to revert it back, etc. For them, we can use these tables. And in our next video, I'm going to show you what are the different operations on the data warehouse that you can perform in order to monitor your data warehouse. But this is the semantic model and this is going to be your auto layout. So simply click here and you can see that. Right now you would find there are no relationships over there, but you can manage all the relationships yourself. So please do manage the relationships. And if you want to create a report directly, you can do it from here. Now I'm going to go back to my demo workspace. What I really wanted to show you that how you can get your server address from here. So you have to click over here under settings. You have to come here and here you would find server settings and here you need to copy just copy this and then you can use it as your sql server address which you can enter while logging using your ssms right now i don't have the ssms on this machine so i'm not able to show you but this is your server address then you have to use simply server address then using azure mfa and then just simply connect and use your organization authentication method and you would be able to connect it that's all guys for this video. If you have any more question, concern, please do let us know. I'm also going to share with you one exercise link from the Microsoft. So please follow that exercise link and try to practice. Practice is the only key that you can clear your exam. And I'm not asking you just about to clear exam, but to learn, you have to do the practice. And please do comment in the comment section if you would like us to answer your queries or in case you want to share any feedback with us. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe now and share with your colleagues and friends so that they can also learn something new. Till then guys, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.